Well, much of the Middle Tennessee region sadly under an air quality alert. At times you could barely see the skyline as people were commuting into downtown this morning. News Channel 5's Chris Davis joins us live from downtown and Chris conditions have improved a little bit this afternoon. They certainly have Carrie. If you look behind me, it's a little more clear in the skies just behind me here. Technically, we are still in an orange alert because it lasts the entire day. But if you just look at Nashville's air escort number, we're technically into the yellow category. That's still serious for some people with sensitive health conditions, but it's better than where we were earlier today. Now, if you ask, we asked some experts that are really tuned into this kind of stuff, and they say these type of air quality alert days could be the thing of the future, at least for the next few months. See how hazy it is? Monday morning, the spectacular views you're used to on News Channel 5 this morning. It is so hazy, it's difficult to see it. Looked a little under the weather. We have an air quality health alert here in Nashville. The low-lying haze traveled a long way to get here. Believe it or not, the wildfires in Canada, they've already burned close to 25 million acres up there. Storm 5 meteorologist Henry Rothenberg says an air quality alert isn't just a concern for visibility, it can be extremely unhealthy for certain types of people. Young people, the elderly, anyone with any type of a respiratory ailment, you want to limit being outdoors. Which is why alerts are issued in the first place. It's a lot like a weather forecast. It's a, it, it's a forecast, it's what they expect to see. John Finke leads Nashville's air pollution control, which provides data to federal agencies so they can forecast more accurate air quality alerts. We operate a network of air monitors that collect uh, real time concentrations in the uh, ambient air. Air quality forecasts get even trickier in Nashville because of all things topography. Davidson County sits in what's called the Nashville Basin. It's kind of coming down into a valley, if you will, and it's just meandering. It's sitting here. You don't have a strong wind to help kick it out down at the surface. Between the basin and the fact these wildfires don't seem to be dying off anytime soon. I think it will continue off and on throughout the summer. Those beautiful morning views may continue to be hidden in the haze. But we'll just have to wait and see. Now, in addition to some of those health concerns, there are some construction companies that cannot operate under these alert days because they're clearing off land, in some cases burning timber, and that would only make the air quality worse. So Metro Public Health goes out to those sites and reminds them not to operate on these type of alert days. That's the latest from downtown. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Chris, very much. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, it's a